but before diving into the exhibition behind me and below me, I would suggest you to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like if you like the videos and also activate the little bell button when you subscribe so you get updates when the new video is coming out. Also I would highly appreciate if you post some ideas down in the comments uh, if you want me to visit anything special around your area or if you have any tips where to go like museums, tracks or anything. I am welcome for every tip I can get. Then let's jump right into it. Welcome at Planet Driving. Today I'm at Montaran Antony in France. Um, visiting a museum of a company um, called Mécanique Aviation Traction or called Matra. Um, yeah, it's kind of connected to a lot of things like bicycles, aeronautics, weaponry and most of the famous automobiles, especially uh, the 60s made it quite, quite famous uh, when they started production actually of their first car. So they are also very successful in racing and that's actually why I'm here. So let's have a look. This is the Matra MS-1 and this car symbolizes the beginning of a rich and unique sports adventure of Matra. This car allowed Matra to become famous in the world of automobile sport and enabled it to write the first lines of a rich history with 124 victories in less than 10 years. For the first participation in the Grand Prix of Monaco in May 1965, uh, Matra registered uh, two of these F3 models. Um, frame number one was driven by Eric uh, Offenstadt and frame number two, which is this exact car, uh, was driven by Jean-Pierre Beltois. So now we start with the Formula 1 cars. Uh, this particular one is the MS-11, MS-12 from 1968. Chassis number 1, actually. It already features the famous Matra Sports V12 engine, which are known for an incredible sound. <laughs> The craziest creation of this whole exhibition is the car you see here behind me, the Renault Espace F1 from 1994. <laughs> Just a freaking crazy family van. That's actually what I would like to drive when having kids. Let me show you some details. So the fact that this is actually literally an F1 chassis with an F1 V10 engine from Renault <laughs> with an s body strapped over it, it's just crazy as hell. And not only it has two seats, no, it has like four full-fledged bucket seats in there. And 
also, of course, it features some classic stuff like leather steering wheel, power windows, <laughs> and take it to the dash. So yeah, the uh, the buttons in the same way you see the uh, red button is for uh, downshifting, the green one is for upshifting of the pneumatic actuated F1 uh, gearbox. <laughs> Actually, the real funky stuff starts when you go around the back. <laughs> so what you can see here is the uh, rear suspension and the gearbox. And <laughs> I don't know if I can come a bit closer, but just in between the. <laughs> Passenger seats are the 10 velocity stacks for you know breathing the air into the engine. So we are now in the basement of the museum, um, giving some some concept cars and some sport cars, um, <laughs> some some crazy crazy ideas. And those are actually factory factory cars, production cars. Uh, Marta Bagira, and <laughs> the seat layout is quite special. It's like kind of kind of McLaren F1, three people seating, but you have driver in the middle, the passenger, and another passenger. It's like kind of in those uh, vans you can use for construction and stuff like this, like for transits, <laughs> they have the same seat layout. So this car, actually similar to the Toyota Prius, uh, has batteries that actually run the car and the gas turbine that can either charge batteries or run the car as well. So it's kind of hybrid uh, in the early stages. Um, quite cool concept. And this was to develop new technologies for future cars. Sadly, it didn't make it into production as we know, so there's none of them on the road, sadly. Additionally to the already quite crazy uh, Matra cars, race cars and road cars, we also have some funky other road cars over here. It's kind of a uh, special exhibition about some hatchbacks and cool young family. So this particularly white car, like white and white, um, is a Citroen BX TC that stands for turbocharged. <laughs> and it's actually having its um, and the home location model to Group B regulation. The all-wheel drive and the enormous overfender. It features a 2.2-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine, um, roughly 200 horsepower in street uh, use. <laughs> and finally, that they kept the factory wheels on it, the factory uh, Citroen wheels, which looks a bit funny on this kind of monstrous machine.
standing right next to the prelude. And one remarkable thing is you realize just how low the front is when you just stand next to it. Just to show you, it's like the front actually is the Honda sign is actually on level with my kneecap. So, so in terms of factor, uh, in terms of pedestrian safety, that would be like zero points. It, it just looks awesome and pop-up headlights. Pop-up headlights are always a winner for a car. It's like flames rowing. It's like a cool feature every car should have. So sadly, that's it with my visit at the Matra Museum and I can highly recommend it, it's so cool. So there were so many race cars and yeah, people here are nice. Oh wow! <laughs> so yeah, just have a look around when you're in the area. It's worth a visit, it's not that expensive. You have such a variety of race cars, road cars and currently there is exhibition about kind of pocket rockets and young timer and hot hatches. So. It's worth a visit, so you can see cars that you don't have in normal museums. 